Okay, well, my name is Chris Bigginhoe, and I'm the Director of Educational Technology at Green Hill School, a private school in Dallas. I'm also an educational researcher at the University of North Texas in Denton. And I've been asked to talk a little bit about my PLN, uh, my personal learning network, and uh, in terms of how that works for me. I, I, I use my PLN very uh, judiciously. I use it uh, very deliberately. Um, I haven't been real good about uh, you know, collecting a whole lot of followers. That's, that's not really necessarily what I'm looking to try to do, um, hey, nor in following a lot of people. I, I've learned that I, that out of politeness, need to follow more people. But in my deliberation is that I, as I follow people, there are, uh, as an educational researcher, I tend to be out on the far edge of, of what we know about education and, and learning today. And so I'm, I'm really interested in the people who I believe are actually even further out beyond that edge as a researcher. And so I'm very deliberate about the way I construct my, uh, my personal learning network as it relates to at least the, the social networking tools, uh, Twitter being probably the, the most uh, frequent. And so I have a very small group. I used a tool in this case at uh, TweetDeck um, to create groups that uh, I place people in who are researchers. So I, while I might have you know four or five hundred people that I'm following, I may actually only be following um, you know ten or twelve really closely on a regular basis because these are people that I know that are working in the field similar to mine that I believe are are actually even pushing the edge a little bit further beyond me. So it helps me to get a sense of of what might be on my horizon, which is not necessarily the horizon of what education. Looking at today, so it's 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 a little bit different, I, I guess, than how most people use their PLN, their personal learning network. So, if I want to talk about a change of practice for me, um, I don't normally I wouldn't normally describe a change of practice coming from Twitter, um, but it's a more complex process for me as it then comes through a whole litany of reflections and other other interactions that take place. So it's it's not necessarily tied to a, a particular event. Twitter or a particular individual in Twitter. So that's my story.